you're, we're in this unique area where Southern California, Northern California, Central California are all kind of coming to this, this meeting point. So we're in this really unique pocket of California that you know, could be considered one of the most diverse areas in the entire state. With this bill, it would immediately put the property under the reservation, which then takes it off of our local tax rolls and environmental reviews and architectural reviews, and the uh, tribe is able to build whatever they please out there, really. And the sponsor of the bill is a congressman that lives uh, in Northern California who may or may not have hardly set foot in our little valley. I don't understand his motivation behind sponsoring a bill when it's in an area that is not his, his jurisdiction. The purpose is to prevent the citizens and the county from being able to go to court. It's totally to usurp the rights of the citizens to their right to have due process. We have uh, an ongoing farming operation. We raise alfalfa, uh, commercial alfalfa, and we pay our taxes and we take care of this land and we feel strongly that the Camp 4 property should have the same requirements and tax status as, as we have. They signed the community plan. They were signature to it. The zoning was placed on Camp 4 was to keep it from becoming intensified in terms of urban and um, complex developments. So it was zoned to try and preserve that important tie we have to agriculture. And agriculture is part of our culture. It's part of our history. It's part of our daily lives here in the valley. That's really what drives our economics, what drives my business, um, what is so critically important to this valley. It means that there is absolutely no control. Absolutely no control over what is built on that land. That is the gist of fee to trust. The process is so broken, it pits neighbors against neighbors. Because if I want a rule change, I have a system to go through with my county and state government. And this is, again, heavy handed, federal dictate, and it's not gonna make anybody feel good about the process. I will make it very clear today, this is the tribe's offer. I think we have compromised to everything that the county has asked for. This is for conversation, but this is the direction the tribe is going to go. I will go next week and I will recommend to the tribe that we submit an application for every piece of property the tribe owns within Santa Barbara County jurisdiction. And I will also seek legislation to do the same thing. I, th I think the county has left us no option. Let's let the process play out. Let's let these things happen. Let's let the appeals at the Bureau of Indian Affairs go through the process. If there are various court cases that are up about very significant issues on tribal law, let those things run through and run their course. Don't truncate that and stop that. 
This congressman has never answered any calls from the Valley. Hundreds of people have tried to reach him and talk to him, tried to invite him to the Valley to talk to the people, complete ignoring of the citizens of this Valley.